Now that winter has arrived, everyone's favorite pastime is staying inside, under the covers, with a warm beverage, and most probably watching Netflix. So I figured, surely there must be loads of ways to spice up this winter time at home. You can have just as much fun inside as you would outside. I saw the cobwebs, the faults in your eyes, yet it was my eye, eye, eye. And now I agree, your sympathy should be a shallow end. This unconventional approach to planning an evening might completely change how we usually spend time together as a family or even host friends and family for a get-together. The first thing I did this morning was stock up on the essentials for two incredible snacks that I'll be showing off around the end of the video. The concept in mind was to make a comfortable floor-based seating arrangement. When we imagine a floor arrangement, I guess the first thing that springs to mind is a sea of soft cushions to lean on or lie down on. There's no doubt that if necessary, one should use a thicker mattress or even layer up the carpets. Floor heating in our apartment meant we didn't have to worry about that or even provide for a heater additionally. Towards the middle, I placed a bench because I thought it would make a nice focal point. What I come to you, I saw your the plan was to have everything on hand that would be needed for such a night. The second thing that comes to mind is cozy blankets and rajais to wrap myself in, <laughs> which is why there are plenty of them around here. I started decorating near the bench and worked my way to each of the four corners. Using the corners for decoration basically ties all the four sides together and the area looks more cohesive. The evening would not have been complete without tea or at least the option to drink tea. I made sure that there were cups for tea available beforehand. With a kettle, it's far less of a hassle to bring tea for everyone. 
Days without water and long the sun so grown We cry I also added a few games that were going to be available as an option for entertainment. I feel winter nights call for games, chai and bonfire, right? It's all for you. It's all for you. I did it all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. The basic arrangements with tea lights, cushions and blankets was done. After it got darker and it was almost time for friends to come over, I quickly got the snacks ready. And days without it. There were going to be nachos with two different kinds of dip available all night long. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. My first snack will feature the one thing that's a favorite for us all during the colder months and that is hot freshly cooked potatoes. This snack recipe has all the makings of a party favorite and it's especially welcome on a chilly winter evening. Apples are also a winter favorite. So, dunk them in water with a squeeze of lemon to protect them from browning. There's something else we need to find. Say you go. Don't make me wait. There's no need to hesitate. Let's make footprints. Whip up some cream cheese and apply a generous dressing to the apples. Walnuts and seeds are also added as toppings for the extra crunch. Drizzle a bit of honey if you'd like. This humble 2 minute snack is sure to blow you away with its simple yet extremely tasty flavor combinations. Make this ahead of time if need be. Make spicy garlic potatoes. Have some boiled potatoes ready. I think these potatoes would be best served hot from the stove. So, a uh, rewarming them or finishing this last step just before serving is a good idea. To get the potatoes golden and crispy, we need to only lightly fry them in oil and season with garlic, Szechuan sauce, oregano, salt, and pepper. Coat the potatoes with it and if you prefer sprinkle on some cheese. I also tossed in some dill for a fresh flavor twist. 
As a side note, I recommend using dill instead of the standard coriander. Your star so fly, my oh my. As time stood still, I got the urge to steal a kiss, and so I did. Now I'm embarrassed, but just a little bit. Oh, there must be gold on those lips, and honey on those fingertips. A hot, spicy appetizer. And a crunchier, creamier one were two very distinct flavor bombs to kick off the evening. <laughs> The truth is, I don't think you need company to have a good time on a night like this. We call it a movie night sometimes when it's just the two of us. There's so much to do and enjoy in a comfortable setting like this. Please share your opinions on this unusual winter evening with me. For now, see you all in the comment section. Here's Home Gap Shop signing off. Thanks for watching and see you all next week. Oh,